بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Let's talk about Hamza al-Wasl. Who is she? Hamza al-Wasl, as we learned in the previous lesson, is that green alif. The green alif, she appears in the beginning of every commanding verb, basic form one, form one commanding verb. For the advanced verbs, she may or may not appear in the beginning. She may or may not appear in the beginning for commanding verbs, and we'll talk about them later, inshallah. So like I said before, this is form one, basic form one, okay? The commanding verb chapter we're doing is basic form one. So she is green alif and she appears in the beginning and she has a kasra under her, but sometimes she gets a dhamma and we talked about that exception last time. So let's look at this commanding, uh, this uh, hamstal wasl. Sometimes she is pronounced, sometimes we say it, and sometimes she is not pronounced, she's completely ignored. She's completely ignored. So when is she pronounced, when is she ignored? Let's start with this first. Shariba yashrabu, that's your al-madi, followed by al-mudari. Shariba yashrabu, that's past and present. Ishrab. Shariba yashrabu, ishrab. The beginning, the haraka of Hamzul Wasl is kasra. You can see there's a kasra under her. You can see a kasra, and that's the default, right? That's the general rule. This alif, the green alif, is called Hamzul Wasl. And that may sound a little strange, right? Why is an alif called a Hamza? Hamzul Wasl, right? Sounds a little strange, but uh, some people, so that's why some people call it aliful Wasl. Some of the books, but they are uh, they are um, not the majority. They call it aliful wasl. The reason why it's called hamzatul wasl because this alif has the sound of hamza, e, e. That's a hamza sound. You don't really pon pronounce the alif. It's actually hamza. Alif is just written. Okay, so for Shariba Yashrabu Ishrab, what do we have? We have Ishrab, green Hamzul Wasl, and the default haraka is Kasra. When I say default, what do I mean by default? I mean this rule here. What is a default? The default is a general rule. The generally speaking, the commanding verb begins with the E as above, right? Generally speaking. So generally speaking is what I mean by the default. So in Arabic language, you will see, you will hear me uh, use this term a lot, default. When I say default, default it means al-asl, al-asl, or the general rule, implying that there are some exceptions. Let's look at another verb, alima ya'lamu, which means to know, right? Alima is al-madi, ya'lamu is mudari, and for amr, you get i'lam, i'lam, alima ya'lamu i'lam. So again, we're following the general rule. Kasra is the default. Okay. And for kataba yaktubu, kataba yaktubu, I say uktub. I use dhamma, which is not the default. This is not the default, right? Dhamma is not the default. What is dhamma? Dhamma is the exception. So it's not the default. This is the exception. Because... It follows the haraka of the middle root letter. What is the haraka of the middle root letter? Well, what's the middle root letter? The middle root letter for kataba yaktubu uktub is the ta. That's the middle root letter. The middle root letter is the ta. And what is the haraka of the ta? The haraka of the ta is dhamma. Therefore, therefore, the exception has has been triggered. Exception has been has is kicking in now. When, when does the exception kick in? It's when the middle root letter has a dhamma. You say uktub. You don't say iktub as I said earlier. Okay. So, so far, all of this stuff here is similar to what we studied in the previous lesson. Now comes the part, when do you pronounce her and when do you ignore her? You pronounce her 
That's the general rule. You just pronounce her. That's the general rule. But sometimes you have to ignore her. When do you ignore her? You ignore her if wow or fa or thumma appears before her. So you say washrab. Wow means and. Fa means then, therefore, so. And thumma means after some time. So if you put wow before ishrab, you don't say wa ishrab, you say washrab. If you put fa before ishrab, you don't say fa ishrab, you say fash, fashrab. Ignore her completely. Ignore her. Why? Because wow, fa, and thumma have appeared before her. When wow, fa, and thumma be appear before Hamzul Wasl, ignore her as if she does not exist. But you still have to write it. She becomes silent. She becomes silent. But still written. You still have to write it. Okay, don't, don't, don't uh, skip it in writing because that would be a huge, that would create massive confusion. Washrab, fashrab, thumashrab, thumash. Notice thumash. So now what I'm going to do is, whoops, I'm going to write it like it's pronounced, but but don't do this in writing. Wash, fash, thumash, washrab, fashrab, thumashrab. This is how you pronounce it, but you still write it the normal way. So you ignore this Hamzul Wasl if Wow or Fa or Thumma appear before her. That's it. That's basically the lesson. The rest is just additional examples. Alima ya'lamu i'lam Kasra is the default. But when Hamzul Wasl comes, what do we say? Wa'lam, fa'lam, thumma'lam. Ignore her completely as if she does not exist. But you still have to write it. Written but not pronounced. Written but not pronounced, okay? You still have to write it. <clears throat> And finally, kataba yaktubu uktub, waktub, faktub, thumaktub. Waktub, faktub, thumaktub. That's it. That is the lesson for our beautiful friend, our be dear beloved sister, Hamzatul Wasl. She is amazing. She is green. She comes before Fa'lul Amr. We pronounce her. We don't ignore her. But once in a while, we have to ignore her. Because wow, fa, thumma appear before her. And by the way, wow, fa, thumma are not the only situations, but they are the most common, one of the, some of the most common situations. There are many other situations where you see hamstul wasl. And also, al-amr is, fail al-amr, commanding verb, is not the only word in the Arabic that it will have hamstul wasl beginning. There are other nouns and verbs that have hamstul wasl, but let's not talk about them now. We'll deal with them as we see them. This is... Uh, a lesson designed to give you a decent understanding of Hamzul Wasl when it's pronounced, what it is, when it's pronounced, and when it is ignored. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.